So first of all today, the Wolf Quest original soundtrack is on sale. It's 30% off, so that makes it $7, 7 US dollars. If you love the music like I do and been hankering to get it, now is a good time to get it. The sale lasts just through the 15th. So for the dev blog today, I thought we could make this kind of a downer and uh, talk about a number of things that we get a lot of requests for, but we are not going to do. Uh, I think the game's come a long way since the very first version 13 years ago, and there's a lot more that we still want to do, but there are a number of things that we're, that we're not going to do, or at least not going to do anytime soon. So uh, let's take a look at those. So since Slough Creek came out and the family tree where you can grow up your pups and see them as adult wolves, uh, we get lots of requests to show their personalities. And uh, we don't do that, and we are not going to do that because you've already lived with your pups for a good number of hours and you have a pretty good idea of their personality. And you know, as Albert Einstein said, the only source of knowledge is experience. And so that experience of their personality is really, that's their personality. And whatever those underlying numbers might say about their personality may or may not match your personal experience. It might match it perfectly, it might be somewhat different. It might be different in weird or confusing ways because how the game interprets the personality and how you interpret it don't necessarily match. So we're going to go with Albert here and make you rely on your own experience to understand their personalities. We've also got a lot of requests since Luke Craig came out to have more commands to tell your mate what to do. Um, and we've got a few of them in there already because those are really helpful to uh, try to manage the whole situation with pups. But we really don't want to add more. Each one we add is, you know, a step closer to making the game more of a Sims game where you control different characters. And it's not that kind of game. You're controlling yourself and you can communicate with your mate and with your pups to some extent. But they're also doing their own thing. And that may not be what you want them to do all the time, but... <laughs> That's life when you're living with somebody. There's been some discussion on Steam about being able to go and find the dens of those stranger wolf packs out there and kill their pups. And we actually gave this a lot of thought because this is obviously something wolves actually do. But we decided against it for a couple of reasons. One, in the springtime, packs with small pups generally don't do that because they've got their hands, they've got their paws full raising their pups. And especially if they're a small pack like yours, they just don't have any spare time to go find those dens and do that kind of thing. The strangers that come around your den generally are those from bigger packs or are those that didn't have litters that year. They have uh, older pups maybe, but they don't have the little ones. And so they've got some spare time on their hands to go try to weed out some of the competition. It also gets kind of ugly pretty quickly once you start thinking through the game mechanics and the tone of attacking and killing these other pups. So we just shelved that whole idea, at least for the time being. Something that wolves do in some parts of the world is caching chunks of meat that they pull off a carcass. Dig a little hole, put it down there, bury it so they can come back later. And we checked with our experts uh, in Yellowstone about this and they say wolves in Yellowstone don't do this because there's so much food. There's so much food on the hoof around for the hunting that it's not that necessary. And there's also a lot of competitors, the cougars, the grizzly bears, the coyotes, that are quite likely to come upon your cache before you get back to it and take it. So it's better off just eating the food when you got it or maybe bringing their chunk back to your pups. There are a lot more animals that we would love to add to the game. Pronghorns would be really cool. And uh, if things go well, we would like to add those someday. Black bears are definitely on our list. They are a bit tricky though, black bears and any animal that can climb trees because that's a bit complicated to create that functionality of a black bear climbing a tree, hanging out in a tree, especially going out on the branches, especially since we have two different tree rendering systems um, for the basic and enhanced graphics. We'd have to set it up for both of those. And those trees, in a certain sense, aren't really there in that they don't have the kind of colliders and stuff that you'd really need for an accurate tree climbing system. So it's still on our list. It's just a sizable task. And uh, we got a lot of other things on our plate right now. So I know that some of these are downers for some of you at least out there. These things that we're not going to be adding to the game, but we are going to be adding a lot of things to the game. We're working away. Got a patch coming out tomorrow with the new save game system, with the Slough Creek place names and a bunch of other fixes and tweaks and improvements. Nothing super exciting, but we are working on a bunch of other stuff. Some of which we've announced, some of which we haven't. So there are many things that are coming to the game. 
in the next few months. 